Hi everybody, it's Lewis Fitch here again, and today, as I said in my pre previous video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to breed Blaptica dubia roaches. Now, for UK viewers, you can get these at roachconnolly.co.uk, so I'll pop a link down below, or be around the screen, or something, so you can click on that, check that out, that's a good site. Uh, that's where I got these guys from, and everything else with it. You know, you can get a basic setup or a more advanced setup with like larger, you know, things. I've got 30 juveniles um, with this. One died, and all the rest obviously matured. So I have 29 matured roaches in here, and um, they do. A, I think it's a one to ten ratio of um, roaches uh, um, uh, of uh, male to females. So you have one male for every ten, basically. Um, yeah. So after about, please, I know what you're going to be thinking. You've either tried this before. Hang on a sec, guys. Okay. You're probably thinking, you've already tried this before. You know, it's not going to work with you again. You know, there's no point in you watching this. Please, please have patience with these guys. Do not feed them. I repeat, do not feed them off to your animals or whatever you have for about two or three months. Basically, until you start seeing these little dudes okay until you, until you start seeing these little dudes, there's one over there until you start seeing these guys do not feed them off and when you do see these guys give it another couple of weeks or something so they can keep you know reproducing a bit more okay so basically what we're going to do is you need these okay they love to hide around stuff so best to get egg crates I don't know where you can get them from you usually get them from the roach colony site but they are a bit expensive obviously um, ask around like certain supermarkets you go to they usually have loads just empty because you know they obviously stock up and they just leave and they're just basically empty or if you just do buy eggs regularly just keep that keep them and you can stock up on them and basically that's what you need to do uh, for the enclosure you just need like a plastic tub just like this depending on how many you're getting as I said you get everything from Roach Connolly if you're not going to go and get stuff from the Roach Connolly UK site if you're in America then listen to this get a tub get a plastic tub like this doesn't matter depending on the size depending on how many you want to have you know and always have this always have like a little mesh covering um, so that it keeps ventilation and there's no mold or anything serious like that um, they do live around, uh, males live around to 6 to a year, 6 months, 6 to 12 months. Uh, females can live up to 2 years. Um, you can determine the difference. Uh, the females are a lot fatter, more shiny, and they have short wings. And the male is very long and has, um, uh, has like, you know, he, he's a lot longer. The male is a lot longer and has larger wings, you know. Um, yeah, and nymphs are those little ones, which you see running around. Um, yeah, so basically, what else? Food and water. Now, for water, you can use paper towels or water crystals. As you can see here, these are water crystals. Yeah, there you go. Water crystals there. You see a little nymph having a little drink around there. They actually can't get out of this. Judging by the depth of this pot, as you can see, they can actually get out of there. They cannot climb up on this. They cannot climb up on this plastic here. No, they can't. So, but you do really need to still have a lid, you know. But they do actually climb out of this pot, which is quite weird. I think it's because there's bits around the edge and they can use that as like a something to climb up on. And they do get out of there because sometimes I see loads in there, sometimes I don't. So they're obviously getting out. They won't drown or anything, depending on how many water crystals you put in. Mine's a bit too concentrated, but you know, there you go. Um, depending on what water crystals you buy, for that little pot it's usually like a, a teaspoon amount. And it's quite cheap water crystals. Uh, paper towel method, haven't used, thinking of using it, but as I said it's high maintenance for paper towels. Because whenever it gets dry you've got to change it, you've got to spray it again, you know, and it can cause a bit of bother. So water crystals are the best I believe. There's a little nymph on the top there. As I said, egg crates are the best. These ones are tied together as they came from the Roach Connolly site. These came tied together. Um, food wise, I've got the food that came with Roach Connolly as well. As you can see here, it's like a, like it's like a cat mixture, and I've got oats in there as well. The oats always go first, as you can see. There's some oats down there, so oats and cat mixture. I've got. Um, 
sorry about that. Um, what else? Um, can't think of my, much else really to say. Determination, guys. When I first found nymphs, I was amazed. I said, Dad, Dad, get get out, get in here now. Look, he's got these nymphs in everywhere. I'm thinking, what the hell? I thought they were wood lice or something. And now they were nymphs. So I thought they were never, ever going to breed. Really, that's a sort of, you know, didn't really have much of a clue. Thought it was too cold. I was going to get an extra heat mat. So that's a tiny heat mat they supply. But really, have faith. Keep your room warm if you can. If you can't, have more of those heat mats. Believe me, it is actually quite coldish in here for them. It's around 80, 85 in my room, constantly. You know, and they stay, adapt and they start to breed. They're hardy little creatures. You know, I kept them without food for 10 days as I went on holiday. I kept them just with what I... I topped that bowl up, I topped the food up, and they're fine. You know, they've bred more. As you can see, look, there's a nice butt sticking out there. Look. It's a female there. Yeah, so I really do have determination and such. Have determination if sometimes you'll know that it starts to get overcrowded get a bigger tub get more air crates sorted they do not smell and the nymphs eat up the poo so it's like a little mini ecosystem involved so clean it out about once every two months all you need to do is lift out the cockroaches bang all the bits out it's all dry there poo doesn't smell at all the only thing that smells in here is the cat food mixture if you're going to put fruit in there it's good but if just keep checking it like once every two or three hours to see if they're eating it. If they don't eat it, take it out because obviously I put apples in here and a couple of days after they started to rot a bit and it smelled and I thought I'll oh, get the hell out of there now before anything starts to happen because mould is the thing that kills these guys. Um, so yeah, that's basically all I can say. And also, check back on my videos for the um, feeding montage that I did. Uh, the strongest will survive montage check that out just over here check it out I really recommend that you watch that because it's really awesome the way I've edited it and everything you know so I just want you guys to check that out because it took me a long time to make that vid and um, also keep suggesting things for me to let's play you know actually don't, but don't bother with that actually at the moment because I've got a lot of things to do also you've probably seen the past video Kempton Expo I'm gonna be there Kempton Expo in the UK if you can get there I may have a custom shirt so you can see me, don't know if I will or not, um, anyway so if you see me just come up to me and talk to me and I'll be like pretty happy to talk to you, um, yeah and I may be getting a crested gecko so stay tuned for that in about a month's time, anyway apart from that, thank you, I will be getting my spiders back soon, by the way this video may be a little bit outdated but I will be getting my spiders back because I've had them, given them away since I was on holiday, so until then guys, I'll see you later.